I'm here with our exercise guru, Ben Eater. Hi, Sal. And we are looking at this module you've made called Exploring Mean and Median. And let's see what it says. Arrange the five orange points. So these are the orange points right over here. On the number line, so the arithmetic mean is negative 0.1. And arithmetic mean is really kind of what we traditionally view, view as the average. It's the you're, average, yeah. You, you add up the numbers and divide by the number that you have. Right. And that the median is 2.5. And 2.5 is essentially the the middle number if you have an odd number of numbers, which right. we do which here. We do. Or it would, if you have an even number of numbers, it's, it's the it's the it's the arithmetic mean of the middle two numbers. Yeah. It's really going right halfway, in, between, halfway between the middle two numbers, and they're both ways of measuring kind of central tendency. Right. Cent and the distance between adjacent tick marks is one. So this is like so this one right over here is zero. This is one. This is two. This is negative one. This yep. is negative two. And so the whole point. He, what's the, what's the point of this exercise? The point of it. Well, you said they're they're both ways of measuring central tendency. Mm -hmm. um, but what we can see here is that they don't always give you the same answer. Um, so we're being asked to see an arithmetic er, 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 arithmetic mean of negative zero point one and a median of two point five. Those are very different numbers. Yeah. So how can you take five points and say the central tendency is negative point one? Right. And the central tendency is two point five. Right. And there's just different ways of measuring it. There's different ways of measuring right. it and sometimes one way is better than the exactly. other. Exactly. Exactly. And you kinda of have to know. And you immediately say I was just starting to play with it and you see it you can if I take this the highest number here and I change it, I can change the mean, but it didn't change the median because the middle number is still this middle number, no matter right. what what's going on out here. And that's yeah. why actually the median tends to be viewed as a better measure when you have outliers, when you have really, 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 you know, large values or, or really, really, really small values, the median is a little bit more robust. So if like right. this thing is just some crazy large number, the median didn't change much. Right. Even though this could, this one number being large took the whole the whole arithmetic mean up. The same so, thing out here, if I had an outlier over here, it doesn't change the median. So in this case, it's asking us a, a mean of negative 0.1 and a median of 2.5. Those are very far apart. Right. So you right. might expect a lot of outliers. Right. So when we're done, you probably would think a lot of the points are going to be closer to 2.5. Well, let's let's think about this. So let me let me get the median first. So the median is just a middle number. Right. And so and here there's five numbers. So the middle number ha literally has to be yeah. 2.5. So one of those outs has to be on 2.5. So let, let me make the middle number 2.5. So that gets me to 2 2.5. That's uh, got to be the You're looking at the mean there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm looking at the mean. 2.5 is go. the median. Median is 2.5. And now and now I want to get the mean at negative a 0. Point negative 1. Or, or negative 0 0.1. So let me start making this, take, see what I can do to make negative. The mean still is not, so let's see. I mean, look, there you go. There we go. There we go. So let me check my answer. Yeah, so th this you see that there are. So, yeah, which of those numbers do you think better represents the central tendency? Yeah, well, you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know in this case, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, uh, either one is. Let's see. If they were all grouped and there was a couple outliers, then the median probably would have been better. Yeah, and there might be different ways to arrange those dots yeah. too, and yeah. you can play with them. Yeah, no, that'd be interesting. So let me check. I got it right. Let's yep. do another one. Next question. All right, arrange the ten dots. Okay, same thing. We want the mean three point six, median at six. So let me think about the median first. So I want to get the middle number, middle number to median at six. Huh. So the median. The median at the median is six. You need to drag one more dot over because you're you're going to be between the two middle numbers because you have an even oh, number. Of oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. You're right. So we, we're the median is taking the right, 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 right. So here we go. Median is now six. Yep. Very good. Right. I had to worry about middle two numbers because I had an even number. That's right. And now let me see the mean. I need to get to three point six. The mean. I need to get to, and I can't make this one of the middle numbers. It, then it'll distort my median. Three point. I guess it can be one of. It can't get. Yeah, you it, can't go past that yeah, yeah, number. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I want to go to three point six. Three point six gets me right over there. There you go. There you go. And so here, which of those numbers do you think is a better central tendency? I I would say the the, the median in this one in because case, these feel so. a little bit more outlier like. Right. At least in in this situation, the way I've this, we've set up this distribution. Let's check the answer. Well, that's satisfying. Get the smiley face. And you also have hints here if someone has trouble with that's it. That's right. And and they can actually show you maybe a different way to do it. Yeah. So you define the median as a middle number. Then you show dragging points. 
So let's see. Show an example. Let's see. So this is an example. Okay, this is an example where the yeah. median and the mean are both six. Right. So that just puts half the points to the left of the median, half the points to the right. 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 That that makes sense. And then you can keep going, but that doesn't solve the problem. No. That's. So let's see. And then you explain. So you just give a little more explanation there, and then finally you talk about how you change this so that you can get the mean at three point six. So let's see if you show that example. So there you go. So it just moves a couple outliers out. Outliers, to kind so of just the mean, mean, but then the median doesn't change. Right. Very interesting.